Hello there guys! So, today I would like to initiate a series of couple of videos where I'm going to talk about productivity tools. Yes, I know that tools are not important, I agree with this idea totally, but for those of you who are as emotional as me and getting frustrated when things do not work, when things are just too complex, too heavy, too hard, and you're just not managing with your productivity because of the tools, that's a video for you, because I'm this kind of person, that's why I moved from Windows to MacBooks. For some of you, Windows is working fine. And yes, I really, really value tools, even though I believe that good designer is not measured by the tools, but by the process. Okay, enough talks, I don't want to make it too long, let's dig into my favorite top productivity tools. One note before we jump in. You need to understand that I'm not exactly a UX UI freelancer designer anymore. I'm more of a startup designer. Mostly I am working with my team. We are building a product. We should stay in touch all the time and we should keep things running fast and smooth. So my routine is really about communication 50% and design another 50%. Okay, let's see what I'm using. So, tool number one that I'm using every single morning, every time I wake up and even when I go to sleep. Surprisingly enough, this is Slack. The Slack is basically a communication app where you create your own, let's say, community or group and you manage all the conversation there by channels. So let's say I created my startup group, added their people, I created channels like development, design, marketing, operations, stuff like this. I added people relevant to those channels. Uh, we have tools like chat in there. We, apparently we have emojis and reactions. We can add there a lot of plugins. For example, Trello integration, Zeppelin integration, depends on your workflow. And also you can attach their files, links and whatever. Uh, when you have a lot of talks uh, happening, you can start your messages or you can also start the topic and start discussion under this topic so slack is number one I don't only use it for my startup managing but I also use it for uh, communicating with like-minded uh, communities uh, for example I'm in the communities like uh, women in tech founders of Estonia or any other community that I feel I can get something out of there great that was the first tool secondly and very apparently I'm using sketch Sketch I use for mostly all of my design needs. Even though I know there are many tools that help uh, other needs more efficiently, I'm just so fast and so efficient and organized with Sketch that for me it's much, much, much easier and faster to adapt to my need in Sketch than, you know, adapting the tool that is not really perfect yet under my needs. So yes, I use Sketch not only for creating user experience flows, UI designs, uh, style guides, I also use it for printing design, for banners, for all social media posts, email marketing and all other posts that should get out to the public. So Sketch for me is like a design hub that I really, really love because you have so many great integrations like Craft, Envision, Marvel, Anima, other amazing plugins that really, really help all us creating assets, uh, exporting assets to other programs. By the way, I still use Photoshop and uh, Illustrator sometimes, but I really don't like them and I use them only maybe 5% of my routine. Photoshop I only use for uh, cutting images from pictures. I use Lightroom for photo correction. I use Illustrator for all vector editing. So yes, if I need an icon, I only prepare it in Illustrator. But all of the ending work, all the putting together, most of my things are happening in Sketch. So let's move to the third tool, which is, as you can guess, it's a video editing tool, Premiere Pro. Well, okay, so I don't love this tool, to be honest. I think it's really heavy, but it's working. It's working well, and I really get used to it. I adopt it to many of its inconveniences, and I'm fine with managing my things. So, as you understand right now, in this digital and media era, video content is super, super important, and right now I'm shooting a video that I'm going to edit later. I'm shooting videos for my startup, I'm shooting videos for my a vlogging life, so I need a convenient tool. I use it for maybe like five, six years. My sister teached me basics of it, and apparently I'm just getting used to it every time I'm solving my issues with this, but it's still not perfect. And if I would start all over again, I would most probably start by using Final Cut, but as for me right now, Premiere Pro is tool number three that I'm using every day. 
Tool number four that might seem very surprising for you, but in fact, really, really handy tool is for me. It's notes. We live in the era where there's so much information out there and we're literally bookmarking everything, checking stuff every time, having thoughts, need to sort stuff. And for this, I use notes. I actually love notes very much. It's super simple. It's so much easy to use on the go. You can use it for things to do, you can use it for uh, tracking your thoughts, you can use it for dropping pictures and links. And the most important thing is that it's syncing with my iCloud, which means that I immediately can use it on my iPhone. So as soon as I've wrote a draft text on my computer, I can immediately take my phone and the text will be there. And I can just use the prepared text, for example, for a blog post in Instagram, right away dropping it on my picture. Tool number five, Dropbox. As I've mentioned, we live in the era when there are so many information files and stuff around you that we need to secure this important stuff for us. And apparently Dropbox is pretty expensive, so if you're a company you can afford buying a cloud storage for many gigs, but I don't really do this. I'm still using my basic uh, package, which was probably about seven gigs, and I'm managing fine with this. So my most important files, my current projects, uh, docs, I all save in the Dropbox. And even if one of my files is broken, I can always revert it from Dropbox. So for me, it's really, really important to have something that matters in the cloud. And also it's very, very important because you can share Dropbox links to the folder right from your desktop. For example, I need to share the latest pitch deck uh, with my client and I can send him this pitch deck. But what if as soon as I send this pitch deck, after three minutes I realize that I forgot to do something. I need to change the pitch deck again and send him another file. And then again and again and again. The easiest way for me to do it is to create a folder in the Dropbox, drop there my file and copy the link of the folder. And this link I'm going to send to my client so the client gets the folder and I can change the content of this folder every time I really need it. Tool number six. I am Plus. This is probably the least famous tool out there, but I'm so happy I found it. Basically, this app combines all the most important messengers out there in one simple interface. So you're probably also struggling with the fact that you have millions of different chats like WhatsApp, Telegram, and Facebook chatting, WeChat sometimes if you use Skype. All of those chattings are just a nightmare because you have trillions of them in different devices, some on computer, some of them are on other phones and you forget the number of phones and whatever, like this is a nightmare. What I found really, really helpful is having one tool that combines all of those chats and it's so cool. It is so cool. I can answer people who are trying to call me basically from my computer as soon as they're in this in the same time that I'm working and I can answer in WhatsApp and so I answer all the messages from my messaging hub which is I reply in WhatsApp then I immediately reply in Telegram then I reply in Skype then I reply reply in Facebook messengers and I'm done all from the same places I don't have to run all over the room looking for where is my phone and finally the last tool for today tool number seven is Spotify. So this tool is probably not something life-saving for me, but I find it very important to be in the right mood to work and to be efficient. And music is something that I constantly realize that it helps me so much. When I'm in the mood to procrastinate or being lazy, I need to put myself into a zone when I will feel like like a hustler, like a productive monster. And I need to open the music that I know the beat will like push me into this productivity mood. It's something like electronic beats and do 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 do. <laughs> and so I really, really love Spotify. I just go to the list of the day and most probably this list will offer me exactly what I need in this particular moment. Okay guys, I think that was enough for the beginning. This was my top seven tools that I cannot imagine my life without anymore. And in the next video, I'm going to share with you how to stay organized, how to stay productive, my life hacks, my tools, and the way I'm managing all my routine. Stay tuned and we'll see you later. <laughs> Goodbye.